Oh, it's not Futaba here for once. Wow, they're really spicing things up by putting our maniacal girl Haru, the devious dazzler. Welcome! It's a bit of a mess in here, but sit wherever you'd like. I mean, it's tidier than Ryuji's room, so no complaints from me. <laughs> Thanks! But your room is nice too. <laughs> My room is literally an attic, with apparently a lot of square footage that I'm not making use of because I refuse to tidy it up. Hmm. Hmm? What's behind this door? Stop! Don't open that! Get away! Ooh. Something important inside? Don't worry, Haru. When you and An eventually leave me alone in here, I'm definitely gonna check out what's behind that door. I have max no, guts after not all. Really, but like, it would be a disaster if you opened it. So, from the sounds of it, knowing On, she's probably just stuffed all the clothes that she wasn't able to tidy up into a huge pile and barricaded it behind the door. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. You really do have a sixth sense. <laughs> I think that's a threat from On. If not for the clothes, then she will destroy me, so. If you open that door, the consequences will be devastating. Forget tea time. It's that bad? What on earth could be in there? Um, well, truth is, there's like a massive pile of clothes jammed in there. Okay, that's what I was thinking, but the way you said it made it seem like that's a cover. Yeah, weird that you'd have even more clothes considering you wear the same ones every day. <laughs> it sounds like fun. Chatting while you folded clothes together must have been nice. No way! You're a guy! Who knows what might be floating around in there? <laughs> Haru's perfectly timed to wink. Mm -hmm. She knows what I'm up to. <laughs> Coffee sounds wonderful right now. Do you think they have it here? Hmm, those twins might know. Maybe we should ask them. I'm sorry, they thought a bag of coffee beans was ammunition? I wouldn't really feel comfortable asking them if they have coffee. Just my, just my two cents. You know what we're doing first. I wonder now, has Ons acting improved that she could sell us this lie, or is she telling the truth, or is she telling a half-truth, because she does have clothes in there, but behind the clothes lies something more devious. Abra izoi kamen iotva etio ksui? Oh, wait, it's just not the Greek alphabet, is it? No, alpha, beta, delta... Oh, the pink suitcase from the Hawaii trip? Yeah, that, those were good times. It's probably one of the more memorable scenes of Persona 5, which is saying a lot considering how memorable the game was overall. What is this, a paint roller? Why does she have a paint roller? Or is this like a makeup tool? No, it's not. I've never seen any type of makeup brush or something looking like this. Maybe this is a product of being in a dream, honestly. Not having a figure or something. Being an imp intangible, impermanent object. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I don't think she was studying. <gasps> she left her phone. Let's look through the search history. Never mind, we can't. <laughs> what is this? Wait, what is that? I've never seen any... Is it like a... It's not like a... Oh, it's a... Oh, I'm an idiot. It's a waste bin. It's a garbage bin. That's full of like papers and stuff. Ugh. I, l I saw the cat and I was literally thinking like, On? Do you have a litter box ready for Morgana? Like... 
Was this relationship more serious than I thought it was? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn, Joker. Coming in hot with the art critique. So you're saying it's 1.53 a.m. in the real world? And that we're all asleep at 1.53? Amateurs. Psh. What if the twins put the card in the locked or in the closet that is not meant to be open. Imagine if On and Haru came back and saw me like this. Just crouching around, sneaking around her room. Oh, I think I found it. No, never mind. Thought that was it. Oh, I think I found it. No, is it not this? Oh no, the heels of this shoe are just blue. That's interesting. How am I having so much trouble finding- Oh, there it is. No, that's not it either. What? Oh, idiot. It's like one of the first things that I looked at. Was that a little too easy for you? No, it could have been easier, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, Makoto's rank 6. Next. Can't wait to see all her Buchimaru swag up close and personal at the dojo. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Uh, right, yeah. Makoto, don't you know this is Ryuji's first time in a girl's room? He's nervous, man. <laughs> or he's scared of what he might find. <laughs> I'd say it's very organized. You. Well, I, it was a, just an offhand comment, not really a compliment or a criticism, honestly. But for real, it's like a mini dojo. Aikido is part of my daily routine. It helps clear my head, and now I'm applying it to dancing too. Okay, I could be wrong, but is that the first for real in this game? I feel like it might be. Wouldn't expect anything less out of the fist of the Phantom Star. You're our fighting master. Could you quit it with the weird nicknames? You're saying you don't embrace Fist of the Phantom Star? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Do you see that clock in the background behind Makoto? 1037? Makoto doesn't strike me as one to leave a clock there if, if the time's wrong. Or if the batteries have died. So... And also it says September? And in On's room it was what? It was 152 or something? So does that mean Makoto fell asleep at 1037 while On fell asleep at 152? Huh. Makoto, you go to bed at 1037? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Alright. You're welcome to relax here in the meantime, Joker. Make yourself at home. Oh, okay, Makoto. So, nothing to hide? Or perhaps something you want me to find? Okay, look. So this was... Maybe my theory was right, because this clock says 1037 as well. As well as this clock here. So I'm going to assume this is what the room looked like when she left. Which means... That she probably... Oh, but it says 1037 AM. What? What? 10.37 a.m.? On a Thursday? Psh. Okay, come on. <laughs> I should be quiet just in case. Makoto's, Makoto's the only one that Joker is considerate around. Oh, cool. She has uh, sliding shelves. That's neat. But damn, look at her. In her in her fifth awakening, fifth awakening, I wish. In her third awakening in Persona 5 Royal, 
I thought that these were like manga, but they're all lo boring law books. Oh, okay. There we go. There's a bit of shoujo manga. <laughs> what is this? See, all the clocks say 1037. But why does this say AM? Huh. I'm... See, that's that's just confusing me. I I don't I don't know what to make of this. Is Joker scared of Buchimaru? Maybe he feels threatened by him. <laughs> So Makoto feels threatened by On and Futaba's cuteness, but not Haru's? Huh. I don't think you have your assessment perfectly straight there, Makoto. Search history time. <laughs> Joker's smart to fear the fists of justice. Okay, I think that is it for this room. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Of course, the theory with this is that Makoto could just have not noticed the difference between AM and PM. Because she does have two other clocks in her room for some reason. But like, I highly doubt, yeah, I highly doubt that she would have let this slip. So I'm going to just assume that this is meant to say PM and that Makoto goes to sleep freakishly early. Okay, and on to Haru's sixth social rank, living in luxury. I remember her room being pretty swanky, so can't wait to dig around and explore everything up close. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> what, you got a problem? I just wanted to see how the rich and famous live their lives. <laughs> By the way, Haru, what's that axe on the balcony for? <laughs> oh, that? I use it to chop wood for the fireplace. It requires a bit of a delicate touch. That sounds like an oxymoron, but okay. Ah, and the clock in Haru's room says it's 10. Haru, if my theory is true and that the clock stops once you fall asleep, I beg of you, do not tell me, do not tell me that you went to bed and fell asleep at 10 10. That, that would just be embarrassing. Even if you wake up at 4.30 and go for a morning jog or whatever, that... 10? 10? Wait, really? you do that yourself? There's this incredible satisfaction when you split a log clean in two. It's perfect for stress relief. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit worried that Haru's psychopathic tendencies are bubbling to the surface. Dude, she's kind of scaring me right now. Just... Don't go making her mad. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Did you say something? Let's sell Ryuji out, no, please. Uh, no, <laughs> nothing at all. Throw Ryuji to the wolves and make our grand escape. You know, I'm kind of surprised at how normal all your stuff is. Really? She has like a, a, a cabinet for fine china in the corner, if I'm not mistaken. What if there's some crazy treasure hidden around here, though? <laughs> Haru's like, Ryuji, try me. I dare you. See what happens. That drawer is looking mighty suspicious. Don't worry. When you two leave me alone in here, I'll be sure to check it out. Sakamoto-kun? <laughs> here it comes. She's gonna say, oh, I can only imagine what kind of hell she's gonna unleash on him in a very calm and cutesy manner, but hell nonetheless. Should a gentleman like yourself really be rummaging around an innocent woman's room? <laughs> Maybe I'll fetch the axe. <laughs> <laughs> Ryuji, run for your life right now, man. Don't even look back. <laughs> no way. No way did she just say that. 
the room so uh, uh, big. I, I, I was just trying to get a feel for the layout. Oh, and with that smile on her face, ooh, Haru, the power you wield is. It's truly mesmerizing. Honestly, you're an inspiration. Hey, that reminds me. I heard On mumbling earlier about wanting some lessons from you. Uh, I got you, Ryuji. You want me to see what's in that jar. I got Ooh. you, bro. I wonder if she's still on the dance floor. I'm glad she's covered up the mirror so that we don't have to realize that we don't have a tangible, permanent body and that we're invisible. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. I could have sworn... Wait, I'm not imagining things, am I? There was a cup of... There was like a, a pot of tea on this table during the cutscene, right? Did it magically warp back there? That's an inconsistency. Hmm... Yeah, she does, because in the backdrop of our conversation just now, there was a teapot on here. I'm not going crazy. I know what I saw. Oh, she does have a little greenhouse over there. Wow. So Haru can grow fruits and veggies in there, but she only gives me the veggies from her rooftop garden? Huh. Not much of a team player then, are you, Haru? It's blurry because the outside realm is not part of your distortions. Oh, oh Joker, Joker, what are these thoughts, buddy? You want to sleep here? With Haru? Hmm. Interesting. It's not in the glass cabinet, is it? Ah, it's on the side of it. Well, actually, yeah, where is... Oh yeah, she is a technophobe, so she wouldn't have a laptop. But where... I guess like her school materials are all like in in here probably. Or stored away somewhere. She probably has a study room. She lives in a nice big house, so her school stuff must be in there. This is cool, but this is nice. Very quaint, nice little room with a balcony too. It's not too bad. Okay, and now it's time for the twins sixth social event. Getting antsy. So is this going to be in the velvet room? Or do the twins actually have a room? Or will they just visit my room? Yeah, probably they'll just be in my room, if I'd have to guess. Oh. We're back here, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> failed to synchronize our movements. This is more difficult than I had anticipated. I would have thought that it would have been easier for you to do it since you're one person, but guess not. Also, there's bound to be a stage somewhere where we unlock the twins as dancers, as a key dancer, right? Surely. Although we've unlocked the entire collection and they're not in there, so maybe they just don't have outfits? Huh. Yeah, you better not embarrass us, Caroline. You two are forcing us to dance our asses off to win some mysterious competition. And then you're going to turn around and tell me that you can't dance yourselves? Don't be hypocrites. What? How long have you been there? Long enough to see you do that heart thing, which was just, just embarrassing, you know? Very poor showing, gotta say. 
I've already seen more than I'd like to have seen, so it's too late. Don't coddle him, Justine. He still has a long way to go. Yeah, and you have an even longer way, so... Have you uncovered any information about the treasure? No. Remember, it is something you can only find as you dance on stage. Don't forget to tell us when you get it. So, any news? I forgot about it, honestly. You forgot? <laughs> Does treasure mean nothing to you? <laughs> I'm sorry. We have been searching for it as well, but its answers remain elusive. I've just been having a good time with my friends, okay? I'm not gonna go look for treasure in a dream. We can't allow you to leave until you find it. We'll be staring holes into you from now on. You always stare holes into me. You stalkers. You're obsessed with me. Perhaps you already have such holes. Caroline has been watching intently for quite a while. Okay, Justine, I know you like embarrassing your twin or your other half, but don't tell me you haven't been obsessing over me too. I, I'm just looking out for the treasure. You've been doing the exact same thing. Exactly. Caroline, you need to take a deep breath, calm down, and stop getting so flustered and dish it back. Justine is winning this war and you can't let her keep winning. Okay, so there's no room to explore for the twins. That's too bad. <laughs>